2018 Mercedes-Benz Class Coupe Review. The Mercedes-Benz Class Coupe is really a versatile crossover that shines from the crowd. Don't be fooled by its name, the 2018 Mercedes-Benz Class Coupe is not a two-door version with the GLC crossover. Rather, the coupe designation means the vehicle's fastback profile which stands not like the boxy designs of almost every other SUVs. Other than reduced headroom within the back seat as well as a data cargo capacity, the coupe will be as easy to deal with as its GLC sibling. Like the conventional GLC, the GLC coupe comes with a world-class cabin inspired from the vaunted S-Class sedans. Every touchpoint feels rich and substantial, in the grippy leather-covered controls to the window switches. As with lots of Mercedes-Benz products, buyers can choose exotic leather upholsteries, trim pieces and automated driving features even within the base model. And there are many configurations to select from, including a powerful yet sprightly turbocharged four-cylinder and also a bellowing turbo V8 with 503 horsepower. As long as you don't mind the hit to practicality as well as the price premium over the typical model, we feel you'll enjoy improved, luxury as well as offered with the 2018 Mercedes-Benz Class Coupe. What's new? Two new performance models join the 2018 Class Coupe lineup, the AMG GLC 63 and AMG GLC 63S. Mercedes also has renamed most on the GLC's options packages to increase convey the functions added. Heated wipers are standard, and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto very easily added while using smartphone integration package. If you favor the GLC coupe within the more traditionally styled GLC, a crossover that is unique is right your life's calling. The AMG GLC 43 costs a great deal more compared to GLC 300, however the price carries a few in the GLC 300's optional extras. Plus, you have the impressively powerful V6 that rockets the GLC from 0 to 60 miles per hour within 4.5 seconds. The extras are your decision, but be aware that you'll have to make a choice from Apple CarPlay Android Auto functionality and also the multimedia and driver assistance packages. Trim Levels and Features The 2018 Mercedes-Benz Class Coupe is often a compact luxury crossover SUV using a sleeker profile than the conventional Class. It's offered in four trim levels, each with unique engine tuning. Starting things off could be the four-cylinder GLC 300, that features a reasonable starting price and will be ordered having a wide range of luxury and safety enhancements. Next up would be the AMG GLC 43, which adds a turbocharged V6 engine and lots of features that happen to be optional about the GLC 300. True performance-minded buyers will appreciate the V8-powered AMG GLC 63 and AMG GLC 63S. The base GLC 300 comes which has a turbocharged four-cylinder engine 241 horsepower, 273 pound-feet of torque. Like all GLC models, power is shipped to all four wheels by having a 9-speed automatic transmission. Standard features include 19-inch wheels, adaptive suspension damping not driver selectable, an electric liftgate, auto-dimming rear view and driver side mirrors, a sunroof, automatic wipers, an energy-adjustable tilt and less coping leader, driver seat memory settings, 402040 split power folding rear seats, simulated leather upholstery, a rear view camera, dual zone climate control. A 7-inch central monitor, brace connect includes smartphone app integration, plus an 8-speaker audio system with HD radio and a couple of USB ports. The AMG GLC 43 will be the first from the performance-oriented trims. It comes having a turbocharged 3.0-litre V6 362 horsepower, 384 lbft. 
20-inch wheels, a sport tuned version from the GLC300's optional adaptive air suspension, upgraded brakes, simulated seward seat inserts, heated front seats, steering wheel mounted shift paddles and also the contents in the GLC300's premium package blind spot monitoring, keyless ignition and entry, satellite radio and also a 115 volt power outlet. The AMG GLC63 gets a plethora of performance upgrades, starting having a turbocharged V8 469 horsepower, 479 lbft. It also turns into a sport tuned version from the 9 speed automatic, a mechanical limit slip differential, variable torque distribution with the all wheel drive system, and also a 14 speaker premium Burmester speakers. The AMG GLC 63S goes even further which is a punchier engine tune 503 horsepower and 516 lbft, as well as an electronically controlled limit slip differential and simulated suede grips on the controls. Most packages can be obtained across the GLC lineup. Safe time minded buyers might look at the driver assistance package, which adds adaptive cruise control lane departure warning and mitigation, rear cross traffic alert, and forward collision warning and mitigation with automatic braking. It also includes the contents in the premium package for your GLC 300. There's also the advanced parking assist package, which incorporates a top-down parking camera system, back and front parking sensors, a computerized parking system as well as a hands-free liftgate. For the ultimate night cruiser, read the advanced lighting package, which adds adaptive LED headlights, automatic high beam control, interior ambient lighting and illuminated door sills. For the touches around, a multimedia package emerges, having a navigation system, touchpad controller with an 8.4 inch central monitor. There's also an alternative that bundles Apple CarPlay and Android Auto but be aware that it's incompatible using the multimedia and driver assistance packages. A few from the features inside the above packages is usually ordered as standalone options. There are a number of separate things that buyers may want to add. Styling upgrades include 21-inch wheels, the night package glossy black exterior elements along with the AMG line GLC 300 only, which has interior and exterior appearance modifications, a flat bottom tire and the GLC 43's upgraded brakes. Luxury enhancements can also be found, like a cabin fragrance and air purification system, a head-up display, a heated tire, ventilated front seats, heated rear seats, rear side window shades various trim accents and multiple premium leather upholsteries associated with adjustable passenger thigh support and memory settings. The GLC 300 might be ordered together with the sport exhaust system found above the AMG models, while an aftermarket performance exhaust can be obtained for those models. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically also comes in multiple versions which are fundamentally similar. The S within this review depend on our full test in the 2017 Mercedes-Benz AMG GLC 43 Coupe Turbo 3.0 liters V6, 9-speed automatic, AWD. Note, since this test was conducted, the actual class coupe has gotten some revisions, including Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which became available that year. Our findings remain applicable to this particular year's class coupe, however. Driving A middle ground between mainstream GLC 300 coupe and Hooligan's Choice GLC 63, the GLC 43 delivers thrilling performance gets hot accounts. It's also agile due to the size. Acceleration a burly twin turbo V6 delivers instant acceleration almost anywhere on side engine RPM range. A slightly lazy pedal response in eco and comfort modes is often a gripe, but it's easily dispensed in of two sport modes although are both too high strength for long driving. Braking 
breaking force starts smooth and firm, then gives method to hard and choppy bites since the vehicle slows. It's hard to break smoothly in city driving, in spite of diligent pedal pressure. It stops from 60 miles per hour in 105 feet, an incredible result for emergency stops, but tend to be better in daily use. Steering Tight, taut steering, especially in sport mode, helps make the GLC feel small compared to it is. Fear's exceptional precision and response in curves and excellent tension to feel. Sport mode requires micro adjustments that might be fatiguing during extended drives. Save it to keep things interesting, open roads. Handling The GLC is remarkably composed. You won't feel it bobbing or floating until you obtain on crumbling, undulating pavement. Extra firm settings in Sport Sport Plus modes create more jostle, but more body control as long since the road is smooth. Drivability It excels at sedate highway travel or quick, spirited driving. Drive modes are in reality useful, comfort is wonderful for day-to-day -day driving, Sport and Sport Plus are suited to deserted, twisty roads. When coming into a stop, the transmission shudders subtly, most passengers won't notice. Comfort The GLC blends powerful with remarkable comfort. Seat comfort is exceptional, plus the cushion ride offers ample firmness to maintain things around the sporting side with the ledger. Nicely suppresses road and wind noise for just a serene cabin experience. Seat comfort Mercedes typically firm seats bring about supreme long distance comfort. The bolsters are firm yet not unyielding, and they also keep you available during hard cornering. The rear seats are only as comfortable or available with optional heating. Ride comfort. It feels tight, controlled and button air down in comfort mode. Bumps are typically shrugged off, too. Both ears some harshness over broken pavement. Overall, though, it's admirable, thinking about the GLC 43's sport tuned suspension. Noise and vibration. Fears some road noise over rough pavement along with a hint of wind rustle over 65 miles per hour, but otherwise cabin conversation is unaffected from the outside world. The GLC is quieter than nearly all of its competitors. The Turbo V6's throaty rumble is enjoyable whenever you step within the gas. Climate control There are three orbital vents inside the center console with controls directly below, plus a vent on each end with the dash provides classic design and function. Rear passengers get two vents. On full blast, it'll heat or cool a cabin inside a short stop lightweight. Interior the common tech interface carries a steep learning curve but offers many features and adjustable settings. The GLC Coupe's main drawback would be the fast back roof line, which compromises rear seat headroom and visibility or back. Ease of usage All controls, switches and interfaces are presented smartly and efficiently. A small cluster of buttons and icons across the central dial looks a little busy but offers comfortable access to altering vehicle settings, including drive modes, manual shifting and suspension damping. Getting and jetting out The GLC doesn't ride as much as many other SUVs, to ensure means most occupants will easily slide in. The ample front seat bolsters don't protrude enough becoming a problem yet provide superb support. Taller rear passengers ought to duck underneath the tapering fast back roof, but the majority others won't notice. Driving position Fear's ample seat adjustability plus a power adjustable tilt and less coping tire. Adjustable pedals might help short drivers who are required to sit close. But overall it's impressive that GLC can accommodate drivers of significant height differences. Roominess Plenty of room everywhere for elbows, legs and shoulders. 
The back seat is one on the roomiest inside segment, with plenty of legroom, however the tapering roof line consumes headroom, although back seats are mounted fairly low. Three adults could well be very cozy from the back seat. Visibility A short hood and elevated sight lines provide an excellent view forward. Visibility out with the rear window is restricted due on the sloping coupe roof. Small sail windows ahead on the rear pillars help eliminate leaps of faith during lane changes. Quality The interior in the GLC was made to a high standard of fight and finish, with narrow panel gaps and quality materials. Buttons, dials and switches all have a very solid feel and heft. This car's cabin should last, a model others should make an effort to emulate. Utility If you desire maximum utility, obtain the regular class, using its traditional SUV roofline. If you would like near max utility using a semblance of fashion and plenty of performance, obtain the GLC 43 Coupe. It gives up some room to its sloping roofline, yet it's less than you would think. Small item storage There are many places to save small items, including a clamshell center armrest bin and rear seat armrest with pop-out cup holders. Voluminous door pockets accommodate two bottles greater than 20 ounces each, along with a separate cutout will hold loose things like a phone, wallet and keys. Cargo space. At 18 cubic feet, the GLC 43 Coupe includes a slight cargo area edge on its main rival, the BMW X4, which grows to some 7 cubic foot advantage 56.5 cubes once the rear seats are folded. The sloping roofline concedes just 1.5 cubic feet on the regular GLC but gains a lot of favor points. Child Safety Seat Accommodation Two pairs of ISOFIX anchors are very easy to access and a flip covers and spend time at the surface of outboard rear passenger seats. Technology The GLC isn't a tour de force of Benz's latest tech, the A-Class is a lot more advanced all over, yet it's no slouch either. From its 8.4-inch touch screen High quality sound system along with a host of driver safety systems, the GLC 43 packs just about all you need. Audio and navigation. The premium Burmester surround sound sound system is exceptional and also a bargain for that price. Standard navigation is usually top shelf and beamed in an 8.4 inch display. The menu structure is very easy to move through and easy to operate while using dial controller. Smartphone integration Smartphones integrate via Bluetooth or maybe a USB port. You can stream or be a musician through the Mercedes audio interface, though the integration isn't quite as good as Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Both are offered for 2018 but you are incompatible with many with the available safety and tech features. Driver Aids Mercedes Adaptive Cruise Control is world class. It keeps close towards the car ahead but keeps a safe following distance as well as doesn't panic break each time a vehicle jumps before. Combined with lane keeping and steering assist, it delivers beautiful semi-autonomous driving in highway gridlock. Voice control. Voice commands work handily to gain access to navigation and music commands, even if connected via Bluetooth. Music commands are fulfilled especially quickly and fluidly.